What is going on, Earth 2 novice enthusiasts and everyone in between? Thank you for tuning in for another episode where we are going to be discussing Earth 2. Now, specifically, we are going to be discussing the heavily anticipated release and unrestriction, whatever you want to call it, of Dubai slash the UAE. Now, if you've been paying attention to Earth 2 for any amount of time, you've probably been wondering when this is going to happen. If you've been watching me for an extended period of time, you've probably seen where I've mentioned in a couple of videos and in some of my live streams that I believe Dubai was going to be unrestricted this first quarter of 2021. I also believe that we will be going into phase two in the first quarter of 2021. Now, I am completely guessing, this is based off some of the stuff that I've kind of put together based on what they've said and what I expect from their timelines. I'm not guaranteeing this, and I will always tell you when I'm speculating versus when I'm bringing you something based upon factual information. In this case, speculations, but as with my previous speculations about other topics and other releases and other timelines, I am right. Dubai will be coming out within the next couple of days. Before we get into that, don't let me forget, I want to make sure that I've got my referral code up. I've got this new little feature there. So there, we've got my referral code. If you're new, especially to my channel, I wanna also make sure that you have subscribed and you've got the alert notifications on. Now I've got two channels. I go live only on one of them. However, I do discuss Earth 2 on both of them. But if you want to be getting stuff as soon as it comes out, make sure you are subscribed to Intentional Being. You can subscribe to both of them. I suggest you do. I would love it. I appreciate the support. You're also going to want to make sure that you check out the links in the show notes. If you're not on Intentional Being, one of the links will bring you to Intentional Being. And if you are on Intentional Being, there's still a link down there that you're going to want to check out, which will get you to a sign-up form. Through that sign-up form, I'm going to do cool stuff like potentially use your referral code to make my purchases. So I'll be giving you some money that you can buy more land with. And I will weekly be doing a land giveaway based off of those people and the people who catch me live and comment and participate and stuff like that. So that's just my way of giving back to you guys. I appreciate it so much. Check out the little scrolling message. But let's get into this. Dubai, we're talking Dubai, so let's get Dubai up on the screen. Boom. I don't know my right from my left. There we go. Dubai, I refer to it as Dubai, but really it's the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. Now, for those of you who don't know, it will be done, it will be released through a, a, a countdown, and they've mentioned this before. I'm going to guess that it's going to be a 24-hour countdown, maybe 48 hours, but I don't think it's going to be much longer than that. I think it will be this weekend coming up that it will be released. Now, why am I saying this? Well, it's not one of my speculations. This is straight up from Shane Isaac, CEO of Earth2 himself. He said that the countdown will begin imminently. I've also got some other videos about some of the other announcements that he made. What I love about the way he made the Dubai announcement was he basically said that uh, they're going to, they, they listed off, he listed off a bunch of other announcements and then it was like a paragraph for this one, a paragraph for that one, a paragraph for that one, several little uh, paragraphs of different announcements and different topics. And then the D Dubai announcement was literally like the last thing he said. And it was almost like an afterthought. It was like one sentence where it was like the Dubai countdown is going to begin within the next like X amount of days. Now, I believe the countdown is going to begin by the end of this week, specifically like Friday, Thursday, Friday. And then, like I said, I think the countdown is going to be 24 to 48 hours. Should be the 12th, which is going to be, yeah, it'll be, so I, I believe it'll be the 12th. And then that'll get us probably a Dubai launch this weekend. So I think they're doing it because... Whether or not you have a job and whether or not you're in what time zone or another, at least launching something like this during the weekend gives everyone a fair opportunity to like, if anything, you're not probably not working, hopefully not working. So you're able to participate in the buy and I'll get into uh, the, Dubai, the Dubai buying and uh, what I think, that's a tongue, tongue twister. Uh, and what I think you should be doing. But like I said, worst case scenario, depending on where you are, you'll just have to stay up late or get up early to participate. Now, I do think it will be important that you are there when it counts down. We are going to have some concerns with the server lag and stuff that we've had. If you've been in Earth 2 long enough, and it's really not that long, 
probably remember the server lag issues that we used to have. Expect that to happen because I think there's going to be a mad dash for Dubai. Wasn't even up on the screen, was it? Okay, Dubai. Yeah, right side. Got it on the right side. All right, so uh, yeah, this is what we're talking about, the UAE. Now, where to buy? I would buy anything, anything that you can. Why? Because I think that prices are going to skyrocket. Why? Well, several reasons. Not only have a lot of the questions and topics that have come up, either a one-on-one -on -one kind of stuff, or when I go live, I've seen a lot of people commenting on when I think Dubai is gonna be uh, released. And there are still some other countries that are restricted. And, but I do think that Dubai, the UAE, are, are definitely the most sought after. Like Israel, um, that will definitely be heavily sought after, but nothing like Dubai. Why? We've got tons of citizens with money. There's like more billionaires per capita in Dubai than like anywhere else in the world. So those people, as we've seen with the U.S., the places, you know, everybody buys what they know first. So when there's a lot of Americans who started off on Earth 2, that's what skyrocketed. And that became like the most expensive company it held, or country and that held the title as the most expensive country um, you know, pretty consistently. I think Dubai, I think the UAE will have the ability to give the US a run for its money. Why? Well, it's got nowhere near as much land area. So I think it's going to be a bit more of a mad dash. It's also going to be entering as not only the cheapest land on Earth too, at least while the price stays down, but it will also be the only class one land on Earth too, at least you know while, while supplies last, as they would say. Class one, class two, class three, there's not a whole lot of uh, class two left. Um, the US has been out of class two for a long time. So a mixture of all of those things Plus, it's been on everybody's radar for a while, so new people are gonna wanna be jumping in on it because it's gonna be cheap for a while. Uh, existing people are gonna wanna jump on it because they've been wanting to buy it for the last several months, probably. Um, there's oil there, and we've you know discussed before, heavy, a lot of reasons to believe that oil is going to be something that's valuable. I remember one of the developers mentioning using oil as an example of one of the resources, and, um, I don't see why he would use that as an example if it wasn't actually going to be something that would be worthwhile, right? So a multitude of reasons why Dubai is going to be heavily sought after and the price is probably going to skyrocket very, very quickly. So be prepared to stay up or get up early, depending on your time zone, to make an investment in Dubai. What's going to be beautiful about it is even if you're not able to buy into Dubai itself, that city, which I do think that I think there will be opportunities to buy Dubai itself. Um, we saw before, if you've been following this for a while, and I've mentioned this before on other videos, there's there have been some people who have violated the rules slash laws of Earth 2. They were purchasing Dubai and other areas that were restricted at the time through some loopholes or some bugs that they exploited. Now, Shane originally warned people. They weren't really sure what they were going to do to penalize these people but it, he was basically saying like we might be not be able to stop you but we will be able to, to catch you so what it seems like with his recent dialogue about it it seems like they may be just taking that land away from those people who who bought it when it was restricted they basically broke the rules it's not fair to you and i who are playing by the rules so i think those people are probably going to be losing their ability to uh maybe even participate in earth 2 depending upon how you know, frustrated Shane's been. And, and there was, there's been stuff where they basically said, like, if you've broken the rules, come to us, let us know, and let us know how. And Because if we have to find you, it's not going to be good. So at least by, you know, owning up to it, you'd be able to maybe save some face with them. But in any case, out of all the stuff that's restricted right now, Dubai is going to be the most heavily sought after. And I think that there may be mad dashes comparable to what we're about to see just because there's going to be more awareness in the future but as far as how high the price will go and how fast it will go there i don't think anything else in the entire earth 2 has this opportunity so if you are new this is an amazing opportunity to jumpstart your portfolio 
I would be throwing all of my money at the UAE, even if you can't even buy within the Dubai city limits. UAE as a whole is poised to skyrocket. It's in an amazing position because there's more awareness than any other country starting off at, I'm guessing it'll start off at 10 cents, right? That's where everybody else started off. How long will it stay at 10 cents? I don't know, but I don't think it will be very long. I think there will be a lot of big players purchasing in, especially like in Dubai, in like 700, they're gonna be doing the, the 750 square maximum. And they will be doing purchase after purchase after purchase. You will see Dubai get bought up so quickly and the price will jump so quickly that holding on to this, you wouldn't have to hold on to it long. I would, especially if you're looking to flip and make some money, this would be a great place to buy. If you're not able to get in while it's at class one, class two, or class three. And by the way, I've got other videos if you are new. Check out my other videos that explain the different land classes that explain resources because I know for some of you this is going over your head and you're like why does oil matter in a virtual world what is a land class check that out in my other videos I won't uh, go into too much detail explaining that now but just know class one is worth more than class two is worth more than class three etc etc you will be able to make more money with it you'll be able to get more resources it's just better to have that stuff so whether or not you're able to get that that's the stuff that I would hold but if you're looking to flip some land and make some quick money you could even be buying like class three and class four stuff in Dubai, and there's still gonna be people coming in after you wanting to buy it, which means you have an opportunity to flip it on the market and make more money. And then you can take that money, reinvest in some other places. I would definitely be holding Dubai in my portfolio. If I'm able to get some good spots in Dubai, in the UAE, I should say, I'm probably gonna be holding that long-term. I haven't really had too much interest selling and flipping property. I'm um, more, you know, purchasing and, and holding it for the long term. I think there's a lot uh, still left to be decided and developed uh, as far as the long term strategy. And I'm not looking to make a quick buck on this. I'm looking to do it for the long haul. If you want to make a quick buck, by all means, use the market. That's what it's there for. Flip some land, let it appreciate it, let it double, triple, quadruple, whatever, and then see what you can get for it. Um, if you get some of the lower classes, class one, class two stuff, you could definitely flip it for whatever its market value is that day. You wouldn't probably wouldn't need to discount it because we're talking we're talking UAE, man. We're talking Dubai. But in any case, I want to make sure that you guys are subscribed. You got the alert notifications on. I've got a bunch of other videos that I've recorded before and I've got some more that I'm going to be recording after this, so I'm going to be doing a pretty consistent content dump. Definitely want to make sure you're not missing anything. Again, the links in the show notes below. Sign up for that referral. Sign up for the uh, free land giveaway. I'll use your referral code when I make my purchases. May be able to win that land yourself. I do the land giveaways weekly and I do uh, land purchases just about every day. So you have a strong chance to win. Thank you guys so much for your attention tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions by uh, hitting me in the comments. And again, make sure you're subscribed to Intentional Being and Meal Prep Biz 101. Like I said, I post comment uh, content on both, but if you wanna catch me live, you definitely wanna make sure that you're following Intentional Being. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Happy hunting with Earth 2, and until next time, I look forward to helping you navigate this new, majestic, magical, mystical world of Earth 2.